Hey everyone, I want to show you something incredible, which I've discovered um, using ChatGPT4, but the advanced data analysis plugin uh, inside of ChatGPT4. Now you do have to have a subscription for this, okay? You have to have a ChatGPT Plus, so I just want to highlight that um, before, we, before we dig any deeper. But the thing I want to showcase today, which I just think is amazing amongst, you know, many amazing things you can do with some of these new AI tools is that you can actually get data sets on anything, on absolutely anything. You can specify specific demo data sets that you want on any industry, on any business function. And you can get a singular data table. You can get many tables. I mean, you can literally get anything downloaded and download it in a CSV file. Okay. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to just walk through a few things. I'm going to say, can you list out 20 different industries um, in business? Okay. So we'll first off, just get a range of different industries. Okay. And one thing that's like uh, been very obvious to me of late is GPT-4 is much, much faster than it used to be. It is, it's really fast. Like that, that was pretty quick. Like that was real time. Um, okay, and then we can go, uh, let's go aerospace and defense. Okay, I'm going to say, I want to create some demo data sets in this category. Okay, can you, can you list out 20 different data scenarios for me? Okay. So it's going to drill down into aerospace and defense. Can you list it out? Maintenance records, supply chain metrics, flight operations data, employee training, R and D, defense contract bids. I mean, this is all so relevant, right? It's just so good, so good at at uh, just listing this stuff out. And soon we're going to dive even deeper. Okay, so I'm going to say, um, let's go, let's go military inventory. Okay, so I'm going to say, um, I'm going to just going to grab this. I'm going to say, can you create a detailed data set? Um, on this on this area on this uh, category okay um, I want the data set to have at least 100,000 rows like the, the crazy thing about this as well is that you can do huge like very large data sets like I've done I've I've had it give me 700,000 at one point right um, um, I'll let you think uh, all the other data for this. Okay, so I'm just going to give it autonomy to think up the rest. Okay, and why I'm showing you this is to show you the versatility. I mean, you can do this across any industry, business function. I mean, literally anything. It's kind of amazing. And I recently created a course on the Enterprise DNA platform. I, I literally just recorded it. Um, so it's going to be released very, very soon, where I actually take some of this data and then I show you how you, much you can analyze it, which is, again, just mind-blowing. Um, but in terms of, you know, building your portfolio or practicing or learning data science techniques, learning data analysis techniques, becoming familiar with data sets, this is incredible. Like, this is absolutely incredible how, um, how, how fast it can get you to, to that point, right? Okay, so I've created a detailed uh, data set on military inventory with 100,000 rows. This data set includes the following columns, asset type, location, status, quantity, last maintenance state, next maintenance state. Okay, so I can download this here. Okay, and then I've opened it. Let's have a look, let's have a look at what this data set actually looks like. Okay, so it's only um, how many columns? It's only it's only a number of columns here wide, right? Okay, so what is that? Six, but it's 100,000 rows. 100,000 rows of data just created just like that. Incredible, right? And we could do the same thing, exactly the same thing for um, for any of these, right? Any of these. Um, let's do, okay, let's do something similar on this um, category. Can you also create a model around this uh, core data set? Think of other tables that uh, would work well um, with it, with this information. Okay, so I didn't, didn't even spell it correctly, but I don't think it even really matters. 
See how fast that is? It's crazy. Maintenance records, personnel, supplier information, budget allocations, incidents re uh, reports. Okay. Let's start by creating these additional data sets. Wow. Okay. So it's going to actually create them. Isn't that just crazy? Oh, I didn't actually add the category. Okay. doesn't matter. In, in that case, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, it's basically just going to take this one, right? But it's going to build around it. Okay. So let's just see what it does. It's going to build around it. It's going to think about all of these additional tables that we could use together. And it's going to create these. This will maybe take a little bit longer, but still, still pretty quick um, when you really think about it. So what's happening in behind the hood here is it's writing Python code. Now, Python seems to be the go-to coding language for most AI applications that I'm seeing right now, particularly that OpenAI is releasing. I mean, there's other ones that you can, there's like SQL is another one that's used quite, um, quite a lot. But it seems like Python's their go-to, and it just churns out code so quickly, like you wouldn't believe. I mean, look how detailed this is. Okay, so it's on the last um, last one here, and it's just going to give us, should just give us, so it's creating what's called data frames, and then it should just give us all these CSV files. Okay, and we can download them, and then the, 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 what's crazy is you can download them all, load them all up, and start doing analysis. You can, you can load multiple tables up here, right? At one time, it doesn't have to be just one table. Like you can, you can build like a, like almost like a model. It will, it will, it will build a model for you. Well, and what it actually does is it, it sort of combines all the all the data frames together. But okay, so let's download, 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 download. Okay, so let's just check out like supplier information. Okay, so let's just have a look, see what this one comes up as. Okay, cool. So you see here, supplier, supplier, supplier detail. So asset type supplied, does that even relate to the asset type? So, you know, so, so the asset type would connect to the asset type here, and then we would have all the supplies. So isn't that, isn't that amazing? So it, it took off, it took the data that we originally created, and then using, using some, you know, the algorithms in the background here, it recreated a, like a model per se around um, around that information. Um, we could then, if we really wanted to, I'll just bring this in here. I could go to my downloads, right? And you see here that I've got five of these. Okay, so if we wanted to then go and analyze these, this is all we didn't need to do. This is just amazing for practice, right? I've been doing this. So, I've been doing this so much ever since I've seen that. You know, started using this tool. You give me a an overview of the, um, the analysis that we could do with this data. Um, give me both data analytics and data science suggestions. Yep. So I'm not going to have time in this video to just go in, in depth of what you can do here. This is what I've done um, in, a, in a new course that I'm releasing through Enterprise DNA. Um, it, through our on-demand platform, but I mean, it's still pretty amazing, right? Like literally just put in a whole range of data sets it read it very quickly and was able to then just provide suggestions just like that. Inventory analysis, maintenance trends, personnel allocation, supplier performance, budget utilization, incidents reports, KPI dashboards. I mean, it's just incredible, the creativity. Predictive maintenance, resource optimization, budget information, forecasting, supplier ranking, incident prediction. So some of these I don't think are that useful, to be honest. Like natural language processing i mean <laughs> i doubt there's any sentiment analysis and what we've what we've um created but it's at least creative right? at least it gives you a lot of ideas like these ais are not perfect i will be the first to say that i i have spotted um it, like issues corrections you know you've got to bring your critical thinking here you you can't you you, you can't just accept it um as is you've got to use it for what it's good at and then um and then try and leverage the good stuff um and and like other ways that you're representing information other ways you're analyzing data okay like it's super super powerful in so many respects but you know the main thing i want to just, just highlight today is this the csv thing it's it's incredible the way that like the extraction of data and you what you'll um uh, maybe i'll show in, in future videos and what i've like actually put inside this 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 course i just said was that you can actually start analyzing a data set like i mean i know this is a demo data set but you could start analyzing a data set and 
you can ask uh, ADA, Advanced Data Analysis here, to run some sort of calculation and then give you the CSV file of the refined data set. You, you can do a lot of the cleaning um, uh, steps for you. You could then get that CSV, put it into Excel, and then go do some analysis off the back of that. I have actually showcased that in, in a past video. Um, but I was, I was just playing around a lot recently with this, and I found that so useful, just the knowledge of like, okay, okay, I can get this out, I can extract it out, and then I can use it in some other tool. I can analyze it some other way. I can uh, use create a visualization in some other tool. But the speed at which I was able to do it with just natural language in here was, was quite amazing. Okay, I'm going to round off. Thanks all. Hopefully you enjoy that one. Um, yeah, please try out Advanced Drone Analysis if you haven't already. It is it is mind-blowingly good. Like, pff, I'm just amazed. I'm I'm going to create a lot more videos on it. I think I think it's a I think it's like a huge evolution in how we do a lot of things with data. This might not be the only iteration like of of this new style. I would say like I think there's going to be a lot of winner, like a lot of players here, but it it is the best by far that I've seen. You know, it's still actually only on beta. Um, you know, they haven't fully released it. There's still issues with like data privacy and security and all that. But just try it out. Just try it out. I mean, you, you're not you're not risking anything by just downloading random data sets and just practicing. Okay, so that's what I would um, really recommend um, giving it giving it a good try. Okay, thanks all. Talk to you soon.